Hi everyone, my name is Veronique Fiu and I am honored and proud to be one of the finalists for this year's Camille Coloratura Awards. Hi, my name is Penelope Shoemate. My name is Sophia Hunt. Hello, my name is Sarah Fleiss. Hi, my name is Helena. Hi there, uh, my name is Cornelia Lotito. Hi, my name is Francesca Marotra. I'm a Brazilian American soprano. I am a mezzo-soprano and I'm from Long Valley, New Jersey, and I'm currently based in Indianapolis as I am a resident artist with the Indianapolis Opera. My pronouns are they, them, theirs, and I am a non-binary soprano of indigenous ancestry from the land that we call Cuscatan, also known as El Salvador. I'm a soprano originally from New Jersey, and I'm currently in my third year of studies at the Curtis Institute of Music in Philadelphia. I'm a soprano from Washington, D.C., currently based in Boston. I'm currently finishing my master's at the Curtis Institute of Music in Philadelphia. I've been really lucky to continue to work uh, as a member of the Pittsburgh Opera Resident Artist Program, so I'm currently entering my second year. I just want to say thank you so much to everybody at the Camille Coloratura Awards for keeping this incredible technique alive and really celebrating um, Fioratura and Coloratura across the board in all voice types, which is just wonderful to see. Um, and also for keeping this art form alive during COVID and during the really difficult times that have beset the entire industry. So I was very excited to see the listing for this year's competition. And I learned three new Coloratura arias that I thought would be very exciting. And I was so excited to learn when I advanced to the semifinals and then elated to know that I had advanced to the finals. And I'd say it's also great to be involved in something during the pandemic. Obviously, we've all been through a lot, so it's really great to just be celebrating the art of singing and the pursuit of coloratura. This competition has done a wonderful job of adapting to a virtual format due to the pandemic. And I would say that for me as an artist, this is one of the few positive things that has come out of the past 18 months is learning how to connect with each other even when we can't be in person. It's a really wonderful virtual project I got to be part of during the pandemic called Thumbprint. It's a 21st century opera written by Kamala Sankaram. And it's a story that's very near and dear to my heart. And getting to put that together with a cast that was all over the country was very powerful. I've sung in a symphony with people all over the world. I have done green screen opera scenes out of my living room, and it's been a really challenging but really unique learning experience for all of us as artists. <laughs> I'm also very excited that this competition was online. Due to COVID, so many singers' performances have been canceled and it was important for singers to continue or develop the skill of knowing how to video, the video themselves performing and um, so they could make quality videos of their performances. I think that's just what's so great about artists um, is that we're innovative and we're always ready to adapt to what's being thrown at us and nothing is going to take us away from doing what we're doing so clearly you know we're, we're pushing through and we're persevering and we actually were able to put on some operas uh, in the Pittsburgh Opera headquarters so we used it like a black box we had six resident artists acting as a sort of pod to keep each other safe and we performed four operas over the course of the year, fully masked. So as you can imagine, singing in a mask is a bit of a different experience. Um, it changes the way that you get feedback from the room. It changes the way that you can sort of move your jaw and your lips, and you have to find ways of taking good breaths without inhaling the mask. So it certainly was a, a year of really figuring out what that looked like. I started singing 
I'm going to be totally honest. I started singing because someone told me if you sing and you're an opera singer, you don't have to take math in college. And I said, great, <laughs> um, I will do that. Um, very fortunately, I immediately fell in love with it, became obsessed with it, became insufferable to all of my friends, family, neighbors, coworkers, everyone in my life, um, none of whom really got it, but I'm just completely obsessed with it. Always wanted to be a coloratura soprano, but the voice said, absolutely not. <laughs> Thought I was going to sing Queen of the Night and Lock May. Um, the voice said, no, you will sing Rosina at best, and that's where I'm staying, um, <laughs> which I'm very, very pleased with. I've been singing for as long as I can remember, from giving concerts for my parents when I was two every Saturday morning to joining a professional children's choir when I was eight, which is where I was first exposed to opera. I knew instantly that it was a beautiful and powerful art form and that it was gonna be something that I would be doing for a long time. I have always loved singing coloratura repertoire. I just think it's so amazing that we get to sing all these super fast notes and be super expressive without actually even using words. I think that's just so amazing. I am super proud to be representing for trans and indigenous people all over. And I am the child of immigrants who fled the civil war that happened in Salvador in the 1980s. And I'm just extremely grateful to be in these spaces and showing people that look like me that there's a space for us here and there's a space for us anywhere in the world that we want to be in. Um, in terms of competitions, we're so grateful, I think I can speak on behalf of many of these young artists, that, that companies like the Camille Coloratura Awards have found ways to go virtual to allow us to still pursue competitions, get our, get our product and our voices in front of people, get heard, um, have some opportunities to to pursue those those next steps in in getting out in front of an audience, even though our audience looks a little bit different and is through a screen most of the time these days. So um, I am certainly very grateful to be able to sing via video, unmasked for all of you. And thank you so much to the Camille Coloratura Awards for um, going online and helping to make this possible. So uh, congratulations to all of the wonderful finalists, and I'm looking forward to hearing the concert. <laughs>